Hello, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you indisputable evidence that AI written content by ChatGPT is currently ranking on Google. A couple of things before we start. Number one, that might change. And if it does, my strategy will change. Number two, I don't care about plagiarism detectors or AI writing detectors or anything like that. So don't even bother leaving a comment about it because I'm not interested in them. If Google ranks my content, that is all I'm interested in, okay? Let's take a deep dive into the website that I've been working on for the last few months. First of all, this is a brand new domain, okay? It's an e-commerce website. It's a brand new domain on, um, it's an e-commerce Shopify website. So I'm going to start off with the classic search operator to see how many indexed pages we have on Google so far. It looks like 936, but I know for a fact that there are more than that. Uh, I don't know why it's cutting down the amount. It sh should be a lot more than that. I'm going to show you how I do a um, basic SEO audit of the website so we can see how it's doing. I want you to know that every collection, every blog post except one, which is my control blog post, all of them are written by ChatGPT or Jasper because I was using Jasper before, but now I would probably exclusively use ChatGPT if I were you. So the first thing I like to do is I like to see uh, what kind of pages are ranking on Google. I have a theory that Google shows you the best ranking pages first using this search operator site, two men.it. That shows you everything that uh, your website is ranking for, basically. If I do slash and then RU, it will show me all of the Russian pages. If I do slash DE, it will show me all the German pages. And if I just do this on its own, it will show me all of the pages in general. Um, but yeah, it's probably more like 1,500 pages, to be honest with you, but 937 pages for a new website is very, very good. Now let's jump into where the magic happens, which is Google Search Console. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my control article by just saying page does not contain and then billionaire. You'll see a drop in impressions, etc. So it went from 104,000 to 71,000. That means that one of my articles is getting one third of the traffic. That is the article I wrote by hand. It's also the oldest article. It's probably the best article. It's my control article. I'm using that article to test all of my AI chat GPT written content. And let's zoom in a little bit here. So 71,000 impressions in three months. Is that good? Is that bad? It's pretty good for a new website. If this was an old website, if this was an aged domain, I would be worried. But because this is a brand new website, I'm not worried in the slightest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on countries and I'm going to show you right now live that I am ranking on the first page of Google. That's the important thing. The first page of Google or several important keywords. You can also see if I remove uh, pay, uh, position that it's growing. Okay. It's this website is growing in the United States, which is exactly what I want. So what I did there was I, I enabled um, position media, which is medium position or average position. And then I went on countries, I clicked on United States, and then I clicked on query. Okay. All of these things that you can see here were written by AI. Okay. And there are quite a lot, as you can see on the first page. Okay. So let's have a look what we can see is on the first page. So none of these are on the first page. This here, what is professional business attire? Article written by AI. It's currently on the first page of Google. Position 7.5. Let's see where it was um, the other day. So it's currently 18th, actually. So it might not be on the first page anymore. It looks like it's been kicked off the first page, which is not an issue. That's just general algorithm things. A lot of these keywords are big keywords for us that I will hopefully rank for in the future. Italian coat brands. Are you kidding me? Look how good that keyword is. Okay. Let's click on uh, most recent date. Again, it says position one. So I guess that's a little bit buggy. So it looks like we're on the first page pretty stably on the front page for this keyword in the United States. Let's see if we can see any other interesting keywords. Italian jeans brands, we are almost on the first page. In fact, if I click on it, I'm going to guess that we are on the first page now. And it looks like we are on the first page now, which is really, really good. You might say that a lot of these are very low, um, like very bad keywords or whatever, but it really, it doesn't matter. Every keyword is a keyword, okay? You've got to stop thinking about, is this a good keyword? Am I going to rank uh, well for this keyword? 
Just focus on creating content with ChatGPT. Trust me, guys, this is a massive opportunity right now. Italian jacket brands, all of these are the articles exactly as I showed you how to write them in this video here. I will leave a link to that video so that you can discover how I actually write this content that is ranking pretty damn well on Google. Italian sweater brands, European sweater brands, all of this stuff. You can take my keywords if you want because you will not be able to beat me. I know exactly what I'm doing. You don't have the brands that we have, etc. So it's really about using ChatGPT and putting your business and your heart and your soul into ChatGPT. ChatGPT is just a tool, okay? If you're using the tool incorrectly, the results will be incorrect. So many people are commenting saying Google won't rank this content, et cetera, et cetera. I want you guys to know that Google is currently ranking this content. The last thing I want to look at is, uh, actually, there's two more things I want to look at. So first of all, I want to look at whether people are actually reading these articles. So I'm gonna go on Google Analytics and I'm gonna find um, this page here. And I'm gonna put it on, let's put it on like this. So remember that everything I've written is uh, AI, okay, pretty much. So I'm gonna focus on blog, just because I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, let's have a look. So the rise of suit and sneakers, average view time, two minutes. Best Italian cashmere sweaters, average view time, two minutes. You can see here that generally speaking, they are actually reading the articles as well. This here, how to dress in your 20s man, this is unbelievable how quickly this has started ranking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly add a source and I'm going to have a look to see where that traffic is actually coming from for how to dress in your males. It looks like the majority of it is actually direct traffic, but there will be some organic traffic if I'm not much mistaken. We'll have a very quick look. Okay, so you can see here, here's another article, Google Organic, only an average of 12 seconds. So you want to be very, very careful with how you open the article, okay? You really want an infographic immediately keep people interested. Look at this one here, okay? Three minutes average watch time. This is Google Organic. This is an AI written article. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Not only will Google rank it, but people will actually read this content, providing that you are giving value from your website. Your value needs, your website needs to be valuable. Otherwise people are just not going to look at it. And that's the reason Google will not rank you. Not because it was written by AI, okay? They know that they need to future proof, et cetera, et cetera. They're not gonna ban everyone that uses AI content, at least not in the moment, because it hasn't really become a problem yet. Maybe it'll become a problem in the future, but for now, as you can see, the results are here. So this is the one I was talking about before, how to dress in your 20s. Man, I wrote this article three days ago. Three days ago. I'm gonna prove that to you. Okay, sorry, five days ago. January the 26th, 2023, so it's about five days ago. I wrote this in 20 minutes using ChatGPT. It has an average view time of 49 seconds. It already has 13 clicks on Google. That's completely insane, okay? So not only are people reading it, also tools like Ahrefs are also picking up on these keywords. So you can see here that, uh, yeah, these pages that are all written by AI, they're all on Ahrefs, they're all getting traffic, et cetera, et cetera. This is Super impressive stuff to have 634 keywords already, 522 of which are in the United States. That's crazy for how new this website is. You can check the who is of our website. You can see how new it is, guys. It's really, really easy to find this information out. I'm telling you now, this is a brand new website. As far as I know, it's never been a domain before and the proof is in the pudding. If you really, really want to get to grips with how to write this kind of content using ChatGPT, then I suggest you look at the video, which I'm going to leave above you now, because that will give you everything you need to make sure that you are maximizing your content output. Thanks for watching, guys. I really wanted to make this video because I'm getting a lot of comments of people saying this won't rank, et cetera, et cetera. I wanted to show you that at least for now, Google is currently accepting and ranking this content. Thanks for watching and. So. 
Oh, sorry, just one more thing I wanted to show you guys is that if you go on organic keywords on Ahrefs and you click position and you put one to 10, in my opinion, to already have as many as 18 keywords on the first page of Google, that is impressive, guys. This is the way to go right now if you need to output a lot of content. Thanks for watching. You can see that a lot of this SEO is also from products, which is super interesting, and also from Russia and also from Germany. So make sure it's all about building a big lot of content that people want to read. It's not about creating trash content that nobody wants to read. Peace out.